Hello, Townsend Church family. I am so glad that you are a part of what God continues to do. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what are you talking about? I want you to think about this. We come into church on Sundays and Wednesday nights and everything is just comfortable and easy and we kind of get a little bit used to it. Now we don't have that. So now what do we do? Well, we continue. Church is not the building. Church are the believers figuring out how to continue to serve, how to continue to grow, how to continue to be at the feet of Jesus. It's just gonna look different for a little while. Church hasn't been canceled. It hasn't been eliminated. It's just been put on pause. And when I say the church being put on pause, I'm talking about the services in the building. The church as a whole is never on pause because God is always moving. And so we want you to know that church can still happen in your homes. You can open the Word and do a devotion and a Bible study on your own. You can call your neighbors and sit six feet away from each other and have a discussion. This is an opportunity for us to show what God is doing and be able to express the joy that God has given us in our lives to the people around us. Moms, dads, what a great opportunity you have to get to know your kids again. Husbands, wives, what a great opportunity it is to be able to learn how to communicate, how to do life together again. We want you to know that we are doing everything that we possibly can to make sure that you are going to stay fed, that you're going to stay connected with not only the church building, but the church as a whole. We are doing everything that we can to figure out technology as fast as possible to stay in tune and in touch, not only with you, but with you, with us. I've had three great people working on this. I've had Danielle Baker, Liz Johnson, and Dave Davis who have worked tirelessly over the last week to quickly scramble and figure out how to get these videos um, done and done well to where we can all stay connected. So publicly, I want to say thank you to those three. They have done an excellent job and been very patient with me and with each other of making it possible that our church body can stay intact and in tune and connected even though we are separated just a little bit. You see on the screen it says, welcome, we are glad that you're here. <laughs> now, that's not what we would normally say in circumstances like this. We would normally say that on a church service, whether it was Sunday morning or Wednesday night or any other event, but the reality is we really are glad that you're here. We're glad that you haven't gone anywhere. We're glad that you're staying connected and we want you to stay connected. I have a verse I want to share with you. I'm not going to preach to you. That'll come Sunday. Um, but here's the verse. It says in 1 Corinthians 16, 13, Paul talks to, in his letter, he writes to the people of Corinth and he says, look, I just want you to watch. Pay attention to what's going on around you. See the, the false prophets. See the people that aren't living right. But also watch for the people that are doing it right and work with them. And then to stand fast in your faith. Don't waver. Don't let the tides of the fear and craziness that's going on out and around you and really for us now to cause you to waver or to doubt. Let this be something that will cause you to stand fast in your faith. And then it says, be brave, be strong. Listen, I know that it's scary. These are uncharted waters for many of us. But we don't have to live in fear and we don't have to be afraid. Our God is bigger than all of this stuff. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever ask or think. And so we can rest in His presence. We can be still and know that God will always be God. So stand fast, watch, be brave, be strong. I want to call your attention to a few things that you may not know, but we want you to know to where you can stay connected. This is our uh, link to our website. This will let you see all of the events, any announcements, easily get you in touch with sermons and video announcements that are going to be coming online uh, shortly. And so this is really the, the primary spot that we want you to go. You can also find our email addresses and most likely our phone numbers too. If you need us, you can call us immediately. We will do what we can to connect and to help you with whatever needs you may have. Here's another way. We do have an app 
Now, I know for many of you that may not have a smartphone, this will not apply to you, but if you have a smartphone that has some type of app store, go to your app store and download Tithely Church, okay? It's the Tithely Church app. If you will download that, it will look like this on your screen. It will have like a phone with a little tree above it. And when you get it and you download it and you click on it, it will actually immediately ask you to search for the nearest churches. And you can put in Townsend Church. It will pull up our app. You hit that button and it will download everything to your phone and you will instantly have our church app. It's kind of a neat thing. Again, another way to stay connected. And really, that's where a lot of stuff happens on there. All of our sermons are on our app and our website from the before. So if you don't like listening to the videos or watching videos or camp, you can listen to the audio versions of old sermons uh, that might be helpful as well. Uh, here's another thing that you can do. This is uh, a way that you can stay updated on uh, any events or messages that are coming. If you will simply text uh, welcome to this number here, 302-503-0013, put that into the, the two part, you put that number in, and then where you normally would text a message, type welcome. And then it will take you through a series of things to do to get you connected to that. And then any messages that we send out from here on out, it will come from this number. And then you can stay up to date on what's going on. Here's another thing that you can look for. We have a Facebook page. It's Townsend Church. It's a private page that you can stay connected there. We have an Instagram account. And this is our uh, Yahoo. I about said Yoohoo. I love Yoohoo drinks, but that's not what this is. This is Yahoo. If you go to Yahoo, type in Townsend Church, it will actually take you to the page where our videos are already uploaded. So you don't have to go through Boxer or anywhere else. You can go straight to YouTube, type in Townsend Church, and go straight to the videos. That's probably where this one will be showing up as well. So those are ways to catch or be connected on social media. Here's kind of a layout of what it's going to look like going forward. Our sermon videos are still going to continue for quite a while. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to open back up. We're, it's, we're going to keep it fluid. Again, it's not canceled. We're just putting a pause on it until we feel safe enough to invite people back in or we get the green light uh, to do so. So Sundays, be looking for the sermon videos on, again, the website, on our app or at Yahoo, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> also Wednesday nights. Now, many of you kind of are wondering what are we going to do for Wednesday nights. Um, we're all going to Linda Short's house for dinner. Just kidding. Can't do that. That's more than 10. And just kidding, Linda, I didn't mean to give you a heart attack. However, we are going to go live. Um, and so from 6.30 to 7.30, starting next Wednesday on the 25th, it will be a live teaching time. It'll be just like I'm standing in front of you on Wednesday nights teaching. We're still trying to figure out uh, the ins and outs of that and how that's going to look. Uh, so please be looking for that and hopefully you can tune in and uh, be a part of that. Also, every Thursday or Friday, one of those two days, there will be a video announcements just like what I'm doing here to kind of keep you in tune to what's going on. Uh, we want you to stay uh, in tune and connected through that. And so lots of videos that will be happening. Also, Pastor Tim and Uncle Skeeter are going to be creating videos for their kids. So you can continue watching for that. I don't know the frequency yet of that. They're not sure about that, but it, I believe it's at least going to be once a week. That will be stories that they can look for, Bible stories that you can do as a family, as well as excuse me, a link to take you to another place possibly to see some other things. But that's still in the works, so be watching for them. I'm sure they will take care of you uh, with that as well. Here's another outlet that you may have forgotten or may not be aware of. If you are new to our church, we have a membership with Right Now Media that actually allows you to go on their website and stream thousands upon thousands of uh, different Bible studies and videos and actually uh, some uh, conferences that are on there. I know the Passion Conference is on there for this past year and a couple of years back. Um, there are so many things for kids as well, kids' videos and Bible studies and cartoons that they can watch. If you already have this, please use that as a family and as individuals. If you don't, please email us and let us know, and we can get you set up with that immediately. You can email me at alan, A-L-A-N, at tfwb.org. 
alan at tfwb.org is my email. Email me that saying, hey, we want Right Now Media. I will use that email address and send you a link immediately to where you can get logged into that. Great resource, especially when you have time at home and you don't know what to be doing or, or how you should be feeling or what you should be studying. Great resource for you uh, to be using. Now, here's something that I really don't want to talk about. It's not fun for me to talk about, but some of you have been asking, well, we want to be able to give. How can we do that? And before I talk about this, I want you to be reminded that we still have bills to be paid. And so help us by continuing to be generous with your time, your talent, and your treasure. Um, we want you to be generous with your neighbors. We want you to be generous with your families, but continue to be generous here at the church. Just because we're not here does not mean God gives us a pass. It's still something that God is asking of us to remain faithful with. And so here are some ways that you can continue to give. You can give from any device. Um, there's mobile giving. If you, again, download the Tidely Church app, get onto our church app, it will actually make it very, very, very simple for you to give. Just a little bit of information that you've got to input, and then you'll be able to give from there. There's online giving. If you go to the website, again, tfwb.org backslash giving, you can actually do it that way as well. Um, so you can do it from your computer, you can do it from your phone, you can do it from wherever you would like. Um, and then you can actually text giving. That seems a little bit weird, but you can text it. So again, here's the number that you put in up at the top, 302-515-0777. And then in the reply, in the, the bottom part where you can um, text, just simply give. Um, and then it will prompt you and give you some instructions on how you can give and what it should look like going forward. Um, and then obviously, lastly, you can give by mail. You can just mail us the check that you may have or you can send it through your bank. You can do it however you would want or you can hoard it up and bring it on the next Sunday that we are able to meet and just dump all your big pile of cash into the plate. Just kidding. Just trying to make light of the situation because it's so awkward for me to stand and ask you to continue to tithe when you're not even here. We know that times are going to get tough. We know that times are going to get weird, but let's remain faithful in everything that God has called us to do. Listen, we're here for you. We love you. We want you to stay faithful to God. We want you to be encouraged. And we want you to know that we are doing everything that we can to stay connected with you. Please do not hesitate to call us, email us, reach out to us for whatever your needs may be. We are here for you. I look forward to connecting with you in a couple of days. Be watching for Sunday's sermon. God bless you. We'll be praying for you. In fact, before we cut out, let me pray for you now. God, I appreciate our church family. Lord, I am proud of them for how they are already trying to reach out and figure out how we can help each other and to be in each other's corner and to love our neighbor as ourselves. God, protect each one of us as we continue to be out in the world. Protect us physically. Protect us emotionally. But most importantly, God, I pray that you would protect us spiritually. Help the seeds of doubt to not creep in. Help the... the attitude of fear and bitterness and frustration to not creep in. Help us to remain faithful to who you are and to know that you are the God of the universe and that you love us the way that you do. Thanks for all that you do. Continue to provide for us as we continue to go after you and serve you. Thanks for all that you do in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you in a little while.